We are joined now by Richard McCall. He's an independent journalist in Bogota to discuss this historic day in Colombian democracy. Richard, thanks for joining us. First of all, do you consider today a historic day? Do you think that this new pluralist government will be a game changer for Colombia? Uh, well, thank you. It's, uh, it's an interesting day, as always, in Colombian politics. Yes, the FARC or the ex-FARC uh, FARC combatants now who've moved into politics are in government. There's five of them, five of the former combatants in the Senate and five in Congress. And this is transcendental for Colombia. After so many years of war, these uh, what were belligerent uh, political actors have put down their arms and they're in Congress. How much they'll be able to change is up for debate. But yes, it's an interesting time. But when you look around at the faces in Congress and in the Senate, there's a lot of the similar faces that have been there over many terms before. So you've got a few changes, but uh, as you saw in the elections and in the legislative elections, Colombia's uh, polit politics has swung to the right. So how much can the FARC actually achieve within this political spectrum is uh, up for debate. Well, you said it was up for debate. So is it wrong for me to ask you how impactful you think they could be or they will be in this um, parliament, is Senate, sorry? Well, the, Im the impact is there, the very, the very fact that they're there. I mean, this is a huge deal for Colombia. It's, it's, hopefully, this can go some way to changing the FARC's image in the eyes of the average Colombian. You know, there's a stigma surrounding the FARC uh, uh, due to so many uh, five decades, plus five decades of, of conflict. There is a stigma around them. So they'll be looking to change their image. They'll be looking to change their image in the minds of the people. But there's an interesting uh, situation that you have a, a, a firm opposition of five different parties, six different parties together, who are in favor of peace. So they are going to be there with the FARC, and these, of course, will include the Alianza Verde, the Polo Democratico, and others. So there's, there's a solid base.